This is going to be a video to show you how to overclock your Droid 2 or Droid X phone and to tell you if it's really worth overclocking. To start, you must have a rooted phone. I have a link in the underbar that has a guide that will tell you how to root your phone under any operating system. To start, you need to download dx d2 overclocker it costs a dollar on the marketplace there are other overclockers that cost a dollar as well or the set others that you can do differently that cost two dollars but this is a tutorial for the dx slash d2 overclocker to start you will open that unfortunately on my phone it only lets me i i couldn't get anything stable at 1.2 gigahertz so I put it down to 1.15 and uh, that was stable for me. So uh, I am I have an unlucky phone. You might have a lucky one. There's been people up to 1.45 gigahertz on the same Droid X. So you might be lucky or you might not be. And really you, you shouldn't need that much speed. The Droid X is really fast enough on stock. But for certain apps you it does help. So you pretty much if you watch my undervolt tutorial you should already know how to change the settings but if you don't you would go to manage presets and then you would go you can start with any preset the one down to the ultra voltage is the uh, pre all the stock presets all these I made that one in any of those I've made so you could like start there you begin pre creating you will name name it this is the max clock frequency that's one gigahertz and the max voltage that will be stable it should be on most old phones these settings should be stable so you don't have to worry about that the thing about overclocking is it takes forever to know if your phone is truly stable and the worst that can happen is you need a battery to pull and your phone might freeze up so you have to manually reset it but the overclocker you will change make this to uh, one five that's one point one five gigahertz or you can change the one to uh to one point five maybe one point five or that's or it's like that just make sure you get it right and don't mess up otherwise your phone will crash. On the voltage, you might have to raise. Mine's at 60 to get this stable, so you might try that for a starter voltage and see if you can go lower or you might have to go higher, depending on your phone. And I've also, even though your voltage might be higher than stock, you must, might get better battery life if you lower the 300 megahertz, it's the lowest frequency. And you can lower that voltage down w quite a bit lower. So when your phone's off and you're not using it, it's at that frequency and using less power. So most of the time you're not using your phone, so it's having a really low idle power. So it won't drain battery life as bad when you're not using it. And also the two other frequencies, 600 and 800, you can change those to whatever you like as well. If you like want 300, 400, 500 megahertz, but then jump up to like 1.2 gigahertz when you're actually using it you could do that or you just set whatever, whatever you want once you have this set you can benchmark these are benchmarks I use right here you can you will do it before you overclock obviously the test like Limpack's a quick one it'll be about 14 giga megaflops before you overclock but should be about 16 when overclocked to 1.15. Yeah, 16. Which is about 14 when not overclocked. And quadrant, I'm going to cut the video and I'm going to show you the two different scores right now between on stock frequency of 1 gigahertz uh, and overclocked 1.15. Okay, this is the benchmark. It was finished for one gigahertz. And 
my droid X is automatically a little bit faster because I have managed a couple things. If you can see that, my device is 1393. The score, a regular droid X is, it looks like, I would say about 1300 or uh, just over 1250. So mine's a little bit faster because I've done some optimizations. But now I'm going to show you the benchmark for the 1.15 gigahertz. Okay, I just finished the benchmark for 1.15 gigahertz. You see it's now about 1487 versus uh, about just under 1400. It's about 100 points higher. Which is... I mean, it's not too much of a difference, but you're getting pretty much, you probably get about the same battery life, if not a little better. And you have a faster clock speed. One of the apps I like, that really on the app I need it overclocked, otherwise I keep at 800 megahertz, which is an underclock, is PS Extra Droid right here. Use it. It's a good application to test it with, because everything was running fine. Uh, at a lower voltage until I ran this application then it crashed my phone because it uses 100% of the CPU like all the time when it's playing but I think you there's a free version of it now I have got I have the paid version but you can try that and download some ROMs and see if it crashes for you and I hope this helped you please subscribe and thanks for watching <laughs>